Kia ora, my name is Charlie Thomas and I'm from Te Korowaia Waiheke. Today I'm going to be talking about the shorebirds that call Waiheke Island home. It's spring. Since late September you may have noticed that the kuaka or bartel godwits have started to make a return to our shorelines. You can see a number of them here in Blackpool, resting and preening by the shores. Over the past month, thousands of these birds have been making the non-stop trip of 11,000 kilometres in as few as nine days. Here they will spend the summer feeding and recovering. They'll then fly 18,000 kilometres all the way back to Alaska with a pit stop at the estuaries of Eastern Asia before returning home for the breeding season. While Godwits are now a regular to Waiheke, it doesn't stop the local birds kicking up a fuss when they return. Blackpool is home to so many wonderful shorebirds. Often seen flocking with our Godwits is the Tuturifatu or Northern New Zealand Dotteral. At this time of year, pairs are breeding and looking for a spot to lay their eggs, and they have a very clever way of making sure that their nests are totally invisible. Their eggs are small, grey and speckled with brown, often the exact same colour as the shell banks that they decide to nest on. While this is fantastic for hiding from predators such as hedgehogs, cats, stoats and rats, it is much less helpful for clumsy people walking on the beach, so make sure you're always being very careful where you take your steps, and take your dog. During the breeding season, male New Zealand dotterals are adorned with beautiful dark copper chest feathers, which makes them stand out against the sometimes dull brown of the godwits. Now dull is not necessarily an insult. If you want to spot them, you have to really be on the lookout. The walnut brown, grey and white blend them right into the mottled colours of the shell bank where they would usually be resting. One of the more outstanding features of the godwit is their very, very long bill. Fading from pink at the base to black at the tip, they use it to forage around in the mud flats for their food. The godwit's favourite food is the bristle worm. These make up over 70% of their diet, but they also like to feed on bivalves and crustaceans. Torea pango, or very beloisa catchers, are another bird known for their long bills. These allow them to search deep in the sand for tuatura mussels, using their bills to twist open the shell or hammer it open. Unlike the godwits and dotterels, oyster catchers have a big stocky black body, sometimes with a patchy white bib, but it is their bright orange bill, eyes and legs that really stand them apart. Waiheke is rich with shorebird habitat. From here at Blackpool to Putiki Bay and Tematuka Marine Reserve, there are plenty of places on the island where you can see shorebirds. Why not come down here and see them for yourself?